Welcome to the operator training video for the Centerline dishwasher. If you have any questions after watching this video, please refer to the manual that came with your machine. Before operation, make sure that the wash and rinse arms, pump strainer, and tank strainers are in the correct position. Ensure that the detergent and rinse aid levels are correct. Close the door. Press the power drain button. During the filling and heating process, the power drain button LED flashes. This process can take several minutes, so feel free to continue your usual routine. When the machine is ready for operation, the LED light will be continuously lit, and the display will show the wash temperature. To prepare the ware, remove any food residue. Load the ware into the proper rack. Rinse the wear items to be washed. Open the door. Slide the rack into the machine. Close the door. Press the start button. While the wash cycle is running, the LED will flash. The wash temperature is shown in the upper display for the entire cycle. The rinse temperature is shown on the lower display only during the rinsing portion of the cycle. When the LED light is continuously lit, the rinsing process is complete. Open the door and remove the rack. Allow the wear to dry. For heavier soiled wear, the wash cycle time can be extended by up to four minutes. To extend the washing time, start a normal two minute wash cycle. During the first 10 seconds of the cycle starting, press the start button a second time. While the extended washing cycle is running, both the start button LED and the menu button LED will flash. When the start button LED lights up continuously, the rinsing process is complete and the cycle ends. To switch off the machine, press and hold the power drain button for three seconds. During draining, the power button LED will flash. During the draining process, the interior of the machine is rinsed automatically and the tank and booster are emptied. At the end of the draining cycle, the machine switches off automatically. Once the machine is turned off, remove any heavy food soil. Turn off the main switch, breaker, or unplug. Cleaning. It is important to perform machine cleaning after each working shift, or once daily depending upon use. Note, the use of unsuitable agents can cause corrosion damage. Do not use any bleach, acid, or metal containing additives to clean the machine. Do not use metal brushes or scouring pads. Remove tank and pump strainers. Make sure that food debris does not enter the pump intake. Rinse the tank and pump strainers under running water. Clean the machine interior. Replace the pump and tank strainers. Replace upper and lower wash arms. After cleaning, air out machine to dry. Perform a weekly cleaning at least once a week or more often if necessary. To begin, depress the two buttons on the side of the lower wash rinse arm and remove. Remove the upper wash rinse arm. Clean both arms. Replace all parts. After cleaning, air out machine to dry. Deliming. The dishwasher should be delimed on a regular basis as required. How often depends on the mineral content of the water. Deliming should be done when you can see clear signs of lime deposits on the inside walls, arms, and tank heater. And now some serious information. Warning, chemical mixing. Deliming solution must not come in contact with bleach or rinse solution containing bleach. Mixing may cause hazardous gas to form. This entire procedure must be followed step by step for safe and satisfactory results. The machine is equipped with an automatic delime cycle reminder. It is recommended that deliming be done when the delime button LED is blinking. Deliming may also be initiated at any other time if necessary. The machine must be on and the power, drain button, and cycle button LEDs will be lit. 
Press and hold the D-Line button for a minimum of three seconds. SDL will be displayed to indicate that the cycle has started. The machine will enter a drain and rinse phase. During this phase, the D-Lime button LED will be lit continuously. Note that the D-Liming cycle is extensive and can take 30 minutes or more to complete. The upper display will indicate when it is time to add the D-Liming agent and the D-Lime button LED will flash. Add the correct amount of D-Liming agent to the tank according to the manufacturer's instructions. Caution, the use of unsuitable chemicals can cause injury. Use only commercial D-Liming agents. Observe the manufacturer's application and safety instructions. Close the door. The D-Liming cycle will continue and the D-Lime button LED will be lit continuously. The upper display will show DL. When the D-Liming phase is complete, the machine will enter a drain and rinse phase. During this phase, the D-Lime button LED will be lit continuously. After the D-Liming process is complete, the machine will drain and shut down. Troubleshooting The following troubleshooting tips can help ensure the best results from your centerline dishwasher. If your ware is not clean, check the wash arms. If they don't turn freely, remove and clean thoroughly. If the wash nozzles are clogged, remove the arm and wash thoroughly until soil is removed. If the rinse nozzles are clogged, remove and delime. Check building water softener and delime the machine if needed. If the detergent concentration is too low or high, check the setting in the menu. Ensure that the tank strainers and pump strainer are not clogged. If you want to change the length of the extended wash cycle, this can be adjusted in the menu. If your wear or glasses are drying poorly, make sure that the wear is removed from the machine at the end of the cycle to enable it to dry. The rinse aid dosing may be too low. Increase concentration per the operating instructions. If the wash wear is greasy, the detergent concentration may be too low. Increase the concentration per the operating instructions. Drain contaminated water and refill. Ensure that the wear is being properly pre-scrapped. If streaks and spots appear on washware or glasses, check the rinse aid concentration. It may need reduced. Check water quality for hard water or high mineral content. See your operator's manual for a complete troubleshooting guide. The following is a list of do's and don'ts for your new centerline dishwasher. Do assure proper water hardness. Do make sure that the strainer pans and the wash and rinse arms are in place. Do pre-scrape dishes thoroughly. Do use only detergents recommended by your chemical professional. Do delime the machine on a regular schedule. Do at the end of the day, thoroughly clean the machine, rinse and dry. Do use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. Do not use detergents formulated for residential dishwashers. Do not allow food soil to accumulate on the tank bottom. Do not exceed chemical manufacturers recommended concentrations for detergent, sanitizer, rinse aid, or lime scale remover. Do not use steel wool to clean wear or wear washer surface. Do not allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants. Do not wash floor mats or other non-food related items in the dishwasher. Do not bang wash arms or scrap screens on hard surfaces to clean. Do not stand on door of the dishwasher. Really, just don't do this. In order to maintain the warranty, as well as an efficient and trouble-free machine, the required maintenance must be carried out by authorized service providers. Long-term service contracts are available. This concludes operator training for the Centerline Wear Washer.